So today we'll be doing an abdominal examination in a gynae patient uh, who has a 16 weeks uh, uterine mass. So first we need to introduce ourselves. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Carl. I'm a medical student. I'm finally a medical student from Taylor School of Medicine. Um, I'm going to perform an abdominal examination. Is it okay if I proceed? So once you get the consent, you proceed with uh, your abdominal examination. Start off with inspection of the abdomen. Check for any presence of uh, distension, abdominal distension. Check for the umbilicus. Is it centrally located? And check for any presence of surgical scars. See throughout the abdomen. And then check for any skin changes, any engorged veins, uh, any hernia at the umbilical region as well, any visible masses or any visible peristalsis. So once that's done with uh, inspection, we move on to superficial palpation. So superficial palpation, before we proceed, we ask the patient, uh, does she have any pain? So ma'am, do you have any pain throughout your abdomen? So there's no pain. We proceed with all nine quadrants of superficial palpation. Okay. So as you palpate, you want to look at the patient's expression in the patient's face. So once that's done, we move to deep palpation. So during this, we like to ask the patient to inhale and exhale, right? As we do. So while doing this, the patient will be inhaling and exhaling. Again, while palpating, we like to look at the patient's face while we do so. Okay. Alright, so over here, then there is a presence of mass felt. So we like to assess the mass itself. So we like to check for the site, the size, the margin, uh, the consistency. Uh, the mobility and whether you can get below the edge. Okay, so first we check the site. The site is located at the suprapubic region. It is approximately two finger breaths below the umbilicus, which corresponds to sixteen weeks, uh, uh, a sixteen weeks uterine mass. Okay, and then we like to assess the size of the mass. So the mass appears to be approximately seven point five by ten point five uh, cm in size, and then we like to check the consistency. So this is a firm mass. Okay and it has a smooth uh, surface with a regular uh, margin and, I can, and, it's not, and it's not it's not mobile and I cannot get below the mass so we will move on with a fluctuation test as well but then since this mass is firm in nature we want to see whether it's a cystic mass so do a fluctuation test uh, to see if it's a cystic mass and so in this case it's most likely negative okay. so once that's done we move on to the assessment of any hepatomegaly so ask the patient to inhale and exhale as you do so inhale, exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, then we test for splenomegaly, diagonally. Same thing as well. We ask the, as we do this, we ask the patient to inhale and exhale. Okay. Then once that's done, we do bimanual palpation of the, uh, the kidneys. Okay. To see is it blockable. Once that's done, we go into percussion. So percussion also happens at all nine quadrants of the body as well. Uh, nine quadrants of the abdomen, sorry. So, okay. Then uh, we would like to check for liver span as well. So start off with the second intercostal space on the top. So once you feel um, down percussion at the one of the chest wall, we ask the patient to put his finger on the chest wall, that's one point. Then we move on to the next point here. So you get the second point. So there's two points here. The upper point would be the upper border of the liver and the bottom point would be the lower border of the liver. So from here on, we need to get this uh, size and then we need to measure this, the, the liver span. Okay? Okay. Then after that, we assess for uh, splenomegaly as well. Then we ask the patient to turn over. This to percuss uh, the chop space. Okay. To see if there any presence of uh, uh, spinal and so on. So once percussion is done, we need to move on to the uh, shifting downers as well. Okay. Then we ask the patient to rotate again, and uh, hold for at least thirty seconds to one minute. Okay. Then we percuss to see if there any shifting downers. Okay. So. We can also perform the fluid through as well in this case. So we ask the patient to put the hand in the center. Okay, then we assess the presence of any fluid through. So once percussion is done, uh, we need to go into auscultation. Okay, so auscultation is the same thing of all nine quadrants as well. Okay, so you auscultate all nine quadrants. Uh, ideally, you would like to hold uh, the stethoscope for at least a few seconds on the abdomen.
Okay. Then in addition to that, you want to do a peri umbilical auscultation as well to rule out any brewery. Okay. So once auscultation is done, uh, that uh, pretty much uh, concludes our examination. But uh, so let me present my findings. So. Um, on inspection, the abdomen is uh, normal, there is no distension, there is no presence of any uh, scars, there is no presence of any engorged veins, no presence of any hernia uh, through the umbilicus. Uh, the umbilicus is essentially located and was essentially normal on inspection. So on palpation, the abdomen is soft and non-tender. However, there is a presence of mass felt at the suprapubic region, which is uh, approximately 7.5 by 10 cm in size, and it corresponds to about a 16-week mass, uh, because in evidence of a two-finger breath size below the umbilicus, and uh, it is uh, firm in consistency, it is immobile, and it does not. Uh, and I, I was not able to get uh, below the edge of the mass. So, this is uh, suggestive of um, uterine mass. And uh, in addition to that, um, on fluctuation test, is that the fluctuation test was negative as well. So, it's most likely not a cystic mass. It's most, it's because since it's, in addition to that, it's also a firm mass. So, other than that, uh, other modalities on such as percussion. Percussion, the abdomen was tympanic throughout the abdominal wall except for the suprapubic region where it was dull on percussion uh, and as well as the liver area which is also dull. Uh, there's no presence of hepatosplenum megali noted and there is an auscultation was also unremarkable. Uh, the bowel sounds can be heard, no bruise can be heard. Um, otherwise, um, her abdomen examination has only concluded that there is a mass, uterine mass felt at the supra pubic region. Uh, ideally, I would like to complete my examination by proceeding towards the vagina examination. Um, then once you're done with this um, examination, you would like to thank the patient and uh, conclude your examination.